It was a cold, snowing morning, and only a few of us wanted to go back to Jenny Hole because we were concerned about the onset of ice. But one of my hunting partners and I made our way back there, and literally within 30 minutes, both of us had our limit of ducks. It was one of the most fantastic mornings I've ever had on Jenny Hole. The hill property is 520 acres that has been exquisitely managed over the years to offer trophy deer hunting, excellent turkey hunting, and some of the best waterfowl hunting in the tri-state. Some of our owners and members of High Ground fly into the Henderson County Airport, which is just a couple of miles away from any of our lodges. Henderson County Airport has a couple of cars there that they use as loaners for the people that fly in. That piece of property is such a, a scenic piece of property where we bring people in and the partners are there. You know, they just fascinate it by the fact that it's so scenic and it's such a wildlife spot. The hill offers two lodges. The Rock Springs Lodge overlooks the hill, gives you a vista of the Slough's Wildlife Management Area. Area, the Ohio River, deer, turkey. You can watch endless waves of waterfowl coming into and out of the Slough's Wildlife Management Area. The shed. It's a great place to spend time. It offers private bedrooms in addition to an area that would be considered a bunk room for you know, family or children. Flat screen TV, full service kitchen, two full service bathrooms with three showers. Outside the front door is one of the food plots attracting deer and turkey. It's pretty incredible. The mix that there is of food plots and trees for hunting is only going to get better as time goes on. Uh, I think what this piece of property offers is the uh, protection it has from Saulheaver and over 10,000 own state acres drawing in all kinds of wildlife. We usually start seeing birds, uh, ducks, geese, and that kind of stuff somewhere around the middle of October until March. High Ground Hunting Club borders the Slough's Wildlife Management Area on three sides. So we have the luxury of being right up against where the waterfowl and the deer and the turkey are. The Bottoms offers a natural cypress slough that offers great cover for ducks ducks, provides natural food sources like duckweed that help not only attract ducks but helps hold the ducks throughout the entire waterfowl season. In good years they'll have 20,000 geese on the place. Being right next to the refuge we've had a variety of ducks um, from your standard mallards to the canvasbacks. Occasionally you'll have a black duck intermixed. No geese or by the thousands you have the Canadians. When you hunt below the hill, you get to hunt in one of two blinds. We have the cypress wooden blind. It has electricity to it. It also has a well head in front of it. We have water piped over to it from the main well. There's also an in-ground pit over on the levee, and we can control the levels of the water. We can bring the water right up to the edge of the pit, and you can hunt approximately eight people comfortably out of the pit. Uh, remote controlled pit doors. One man in the pit has control over all the doors. It has two dog boxes. Dogs can come and be worked out there. They handle beautifully out in the water. It's a great experience for dogs as well. And having the ease of having electric in there and having the slingers going, keeping the water open, I mean it could not be a better setup for duck hunting. The Bottoms offers some of the best turkey hunting because it has a natural location that turkeys, for whatever reason, year in and year out, select that area as their roosting spot. It's very consistent when it offers the opportunity to harvest a trophy turkey. That piece of property on the hill has probably got as many turkey on it as any place in Henderson County. It's always a lot of fun, but more importantly, it's highly productive. I killed a trophy on the hill in 2007 that was a double bearded monster. The properties that we're looking at selling probably have one of the better deer herds on it in western Kentucky. Well, for the uh, future, as far as the deer hunting over here, we've planted thousands of hardwood trees, uh, a wide variety of oak. There's bur oak, swamp chestnut oak, cherry bark oak, schumard oak and pecans, all nut-bearing trees. The Hill offers multiple deer hunting stand locations. We want you to hunt, we want you to have a good time, but we want you to try to kill that 140 class deer. It needs to be 140 or better. Over the past eight or nine years, there's been uh, probably 10 deer taken off of that property that are in the 140 to 170 class deer. The Hill is such a unique property because it offers the hunter an opportunity to hunt trophy deer, to hunt trophy turkeys, and to hunt all different types of waterfowl, from geese to ducks, all at one location. Everything's there. You don't have to do anything. You just get up and put your clothes on and go hunt.